Hi, I'm Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the contribution analysis tool in Adobe Analytics to help you understand anomalies in your data and the factors that may be contributing to them. To run a contribution analysis, you need to start with anomaly detection, and I've already run one here. Uh, you can find anomaly detection here in the, the navigation menu. Uh, you can either uh, just type anomaly detection or you can uh, go to site metrics by default. Uh, so unless you've changed the location of it, that's uh, where you can find anomaly detection. Um, I've already run one. Uh, you can see that anomaly detection uh, for the metrics I've selected, and I, I could certainly change those metrics. Uh, for those metrics, anomaly detection has found some interesting changes in my data, some things I should be aware of. So I can start uh, by first kind of focusing on the dates or the metrics that I want to drill into. I can select in this graph at the top the, uh, the dates, the anomalies that I want to focus on. And so uh, I've done that here and you can see that for this particular date there was a spike in product views and uh, it looks like there was a spike in um, video completes as well. So once I've identified the anomaly I can have Adobe Analytics run uh, millions of queries behind the scene uh, on the Adobe Analytics platform to find the factors that likely contributed to that increase or decrease in a metric. In this case I'm going to focus on video completes and uh, I just select that data point in my in this graph and hit analyze. And when I do that um, Adobe Analytics is going to start uh, running all of those millions of queries. It's going to check every value of every dimension that I have. Now I'm using the premium version of Adobe Analytics so I can literally check this against hundreds, thousands even, of dimensions, all of my classifications, so on and so forth. With the, um, with the, the Adobe Analytics core uh, 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 aspect of, um, of contribution analysis, I can choose up to three dimensions and it will check uh, the top 10,000 values for each of those three dimensions. Uh, but let's see what this looks like with the, with the full-fledged premium version of Adobe Analytics and you'll see that it's going to find some really interesting um, some really interesting things. These are both uh, the same uh, report so I'm going to just click on this one and when, uh, when it's, uh, you notice that it, it as I was talking it, it was running these queries behind the scenes um, it finished and uh, then I was able to click and, uh, and hop into contribution analysis. So, um, some uh, at the very top, I get a summary of the factors that likely contributed to this increase in, uh, in video completes. Now, some of these are self-evident, like the content type, which is uh, either a prop or an EVAR, it's a, it's a variable, it's one of my dimensions, is, is video. Uh, and, of course, that's going to be the case when you have a lot of video completes. So you have this ability to hide uh, the, the values, the, the co contributing factors that um, are not interesting to you or that are, are self-evident. So I'm actually going to do that here. Um, but now uh, with the remaining uh, factors, we have some, some fairly interesting findings. We can see that um, these are people who are uh, member status one. Uh, either means they're, uh, looks like maybe it means they're, they're not registered because we have registration status anonymous down here. Um, we can see that they came to our site from search engines, which is interesting. We can see that uh, through the customer attributes feature, we've uploaded um, some information about gender, and so we can see that they're male. And there's a particular video that's contributing to this increase in video complete. So there's a video that's become very, very popular on my site, and I can see all of that right here. Um, and I can even, you know, go deeper into this if I wanted to by, uh, by continuing to hide uh, these factors. Down below the, we're going to come back to this contribution summary in just a minute, but down below it we have uh, a number of, of powerful visualizations to help me unearth, uh, unearth deeper insights into these contributing factors. We have uh, hierarchical tree maps, so I can mouse over these and see sort of the share of uh, contribution score. I can uh, I can also change that to a scatter plot, which is going to allow me to easily spot any outliers. There might be 
some dimension values that had a very high contributing score but didn't have did, didn't actually associate with a lot of video completes or vice versa there may be a dimension value that had a lot of video completes but it didn't actually have a very high contribution score and you can um, you can see so for you know for example member status of zero had a uh, you know a fairly high number of video completes but it, it didn't have as high a contribution score as some of these other factors that may have contributed. This is all aiming toward uh, giving me a picture of these customers or prospects or users or whoever it is um, so that I can better uh, reach them and better market to them. Uh, and, and we'll see how that works in, in just a minute. Down below the visualizations, I can get a little bit more detail. Um, I'm not limited just to my top five factors. I can actually expand this out to 50 or all of them, and I can comb through here and see if there's anything else that's interesting that uh, that jumps out at me. Um, we've got some some attribution components here with uh, you know my first touch channel and my last touch channel uh, showing up here as factors. Uh, you know, and again, all of these are are about painting that picture uh, of what happened and why did we see an increase in total video completes. Um, with each of these, I can actually view the graph of the, the uh, dimension value against the total video completes, and I can see that uh, you know, they, they generally sort of move together, but there was certainly a spike in traffic from search engines on the date in question. Um, and so that you know that indicates to me that there there uh, there may well be something there. I mentioned I wanted to go back up to the top uh, and uh, and come back to this contribution summary uh, because one of the best things about contribution analysis is that I can go straight from this analysis to a segment, and with that segment I can share to the marketing cloud so that I can target these uh, these people who viewed this video based on these criteria that I find. So it's uh, it's actually uh, sort of a form of, of uh, look-like modeling in the sense that, um, you know, people potentially, people who uh, had these same, some of these same criteria, but maybe didn't uh, have a video complete are, are going to be targeted, uh, you know, the same way potentially. And I can do that easily either by selecting values. So if I want to create a segment for people from search engines who are male, uh, who are un, you know are unregistered or anonymous, I can select those rows in this in this table and hit create segment. The other way to do that is contribution analysis will automatically recommend segments to you. So I can I can click on this uh, segment icon here and you'll see it's going to recommend a handful of, of segments with different combinations of uh, of criteria. And so if I let's say I wanted to um, turn this uh, segment three, you can see the four criteria in segment three. If I wanted to turn that into an actual segment that I can use elsewhere in analytics or in the marketing cloud, I just select uh, that that row and hit create segment and I'm taken immediately to the segment builder and you'll see that uh, those exact criteria are added to my segment already. So I'm going to just call this contribution analysis segment and um, I can save that and if my uh, it looks like this report suite is not hooked up to the marketing cloud but if if it were I'd have a checkbox right here uh, at the bottom of the segment builder where I could immediately share this thing out to the marketing cloud and begin doing targeting or running campaigns against it or whatever the case may be so I'm gonna go ahead and save that segment and uh, and I'm taken back to contribution analysis, but now that segment is available for me elsewhere in analytics. A lot that you can do with contribution analysis. It's saved our users countless hours of frustration and time trying to figure out what, what factors contributed to a trend in their data. Uh, so I strongly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Um, again, if you have Adobe Analytics, either the standard core solution or the premium version, you'll have uh, different levels of access to this. But um, either way, you can begin to start getting insights uh, very, very quickly with contribution analysis.